Ooh, what a spooky effect. What's up YouTube gangsters? Today I'm going to show you how to put a shiver effect on your text in Adobe After Effects. So let's go ahead and dive in right now. All right, first let's go ahead and uh, we're gonna add a new composition. And go ahead, you can name it whatever you want. We'll name this Scared. Add your dimensions, you can add your background. We'll go ahead and change this color to, let's see, a uh, something for the season. Maybe a, uh, there we go. Make it pumpkin orange. Okay. Um, once you have your composition, you're going to want to go to your title tool, add your title. If you guys already know how to do this, I'm sorry, I'm just basically going through every step. So type in your text, bring it in. Um, if you want to center it, you go up here to the align box. You can center it horizontally and vertically by using these options. Um, then if you want to change the color, we're going to go ahead and just change it to black. So it looks Halloweenish. All right. Once you have your text up, uh, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go up here to effects and presets, and you're going to want to type in quiver. And when you see quiver, take it, drop it down. You can either drop it onto your text on the preview or down here in your timeline. All right. Once you've added that effect, you're going to want to go down here to your uh, timeline and hit the drop down and where it says text click that drop down and below the text you're gonna see where it says animator skew skew access hit that drop down and then there's one more drop down where it says wiggly randomize you're gonna drop that down as well okay what you're gonna want to do let me go ahead and show you what just by dropping this effect on it this is what it looks like So it's already kind of looking scared. And this is, um, you know, all you, you can adjust this to your liking. What I like to do is I like to go down here where it says minimum and maximum. And you want to bring this within maybe 5 to 10% of each other. So you could go down and take this one. Let's say you take this to 10 and take this to 0. And now watch. Let's watch how it looks. And see how it's kind of, there's a little bit of a, looks almost jello-ish, which is kind of a cool effect too. Um, if you want, you can bring this up a little and you can see it a little bit more. Um, that's what it looks like before you go in and change the timing on it. To give it like a shiver effect, uh, to make it look like the text is scared, what you'll want to do is up below where you adjusted the minimum maximum amount you'll see this wiggles per second I would do probably about 25 and now you see it's more of a, a shiver I mean it could be a cold like if your text is cold or you're trying to um, portray that like something being cold or something being scared that's the title of this tutorial scared so we'll use that but it can go either way so um, that's basically how you do it. This, this is kind of the settings I like to use, but like I said, you can go in there and you can mess with these. And if, if the shiver doesn't look to your liking, you know, mess with some of these a little bit and, uh, you can adjust it to where you can also do the, uh, instead of just the characters, if you change this, you can change it to the word. So the whole word kind of shivers together. Um, it just depends on what you want. Um, there's a lot of other little things in here, but I I wouldn't I haven't messed with them for uh, this effect. But uh, this effect comes in handy. It, like I said, you can get kind of a jello-y effect if you change this down. You know, say you change this down to only like your wiggles per second to one, and see how it's it's kind of jello-y, and you can change it back to uh, the characters and it looks a little bit better. And then if, you know, you widen this gap, it's going to go a little bit faster too. So and the movement will be a little bit bigger. So um, anyway, I hope you guys like this tutorial. If this helped you, give it a thumbs up. 
if you want to see more tutorials like this, I do. I usually do short tutorials in Premiere and After Effects. Um, I don't go too into depth and do real complicated tutorials yet, because I've only been doing After Effects for you know a little under a year now, so I'm still learning myself. So, but I like to do tutorials every now and then and just show people some of the things you can do with After Effects, some of the little simple effects to add value to uh, your project. So. Uh, if you like these tutorials, go ahead and subscribe. <clears throat> I'll do more. I usually do maybe one or two a week. Um, so uh, other than that, I'm out of here. Peace.